Welp, it's official. Season 4 will launch in less than a week, and it will be Marvel themed. Donald Mustard has even revealed some insane news about the Fortnite storyline. I didn't even believe what I was reading at first, and I'm sure you won't either. I just went to GameStop and bought out almost their entire V-Buck card stock, so if you want a card, drop a like right now and subscribe to the channel. I'll pick a winner or two from the comments and send them a card. I'm also giving away plenty of gifts on my live stream. Caffeine.tv slash Dr. Pineapples. Click the link in the description. Go follow me. Okay, please. Thanks. I'll randomly give a gift to a new follower who follows me on the stream. This is only for new people. So if you're not following me already, simply go and follow me for a chance to win something free. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today is a massive news day for Fortnite. We have gotten a lot of information, some about the storyline, some about next season, some about Epic's ongoing battle with Apple, the Chapter 2 Season 4 Battle Pass. I literally don't even know where to begin, so I guess we're just going to go ahead and start. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to see more. So to kick things off, as I'm sure you already knew by now if you watched the intro or have been on Twitter, Fortnite Season 4 of Chapter 2 is officially launching in six days and has been confirmed to be a Marvel-themed season, which is interesting, right? Like, that's really, really intriguing. Not sure how that's going to play out, but that really has high potential. It's also confirmed that Thor is going to be a legitimate person, a legitimate character inside of the new Battle Pass. You can even see this tweet Thor literally made, quote, tweeting Fortnite's announcement about the new season, saying, summon the Bifrost. If you don't watch Marvel and you don't know what the Bifrost is, it is basically a wormhole that you take that allows for a shortcut connecting two different points in space-time, often used by Asgardians, and Thor is exactly that. Now, based on leaks, we also know that the Groot character from Guardians of the Galaxy in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is going to be a Battle Pass skin. I cannot wait to go kill people and just say, I am Groot. I am Groot, as I brutally murder them, man. That is amazing. Groot's one of my favorite characters. Fun fact, there is actually already a reference to Groot within the game. I believe this is Star-Lord's back bling, and of course it has a little attached mini Groot hanging off the side, which is interesting. I'm not sure if you guys have thought about this yet, but pretty much what this means is the Marvel skins are pretty much confirmed to be a part of the storyline moving forward. That's crazy, because these Marvel characters themselves within the movies and within the comic books already have their own lore. They already are assigned to their own storyline within the Marvel Universe. And now you're taking them from Marvel and putting them in Fortnite, and now they're gonna have a separate storyline entity for Fortnite, that's going to be completely different probably from what we're used to seeing with them. Fortnite seems to be taking things to a whole new level and I literally can't wait to hop on August 27th and see what we have in store for us, man. I'm going to be giving away the Battle Pass to several of you guys, actually a good number of you guys. If you want the Battle Pass, all you have to do is follow me on caffeine.tv via the link below, subscribe and drop a comment and drop a like on this video. I want to backtrack real quick to talking about the Bifrost. Of course, it's a wormhole. And when I think of wormhole and I think of Fortnite, and specifically wormholes in Fortnite in the same sentence, my mind immediately goes back to the end event and the black hole that took us to chapter two. What could that mean? Could we in some way be using another wormhole to maybe go back in time to another map? I mean, literally the Bifrost connects two different points in time. I'm just throwing stuff out there. It could be a possibility, no matter how likely or unlikely it might be. Recently, I've been listening to a lot of people complain about a slow storyline so far this season. Now, it was really, really good when it kicked off, of course, a lot of hype. I won't deny that it has died down a little bit recently, but you know, since they added that spaceship back into the game near Misty Meadows, and there seems to be some hype around that, it's gone back up. And I've also seen a lot of people worrying there wouldn't be an event this season, or maybe there won't be an event this season. That is possible. However, I would personally still say, I think we are going to have an event. Now, of course, that's just me saying that and guessing. I could be wrong, very much so, and I have been wrong before. But let me show you something Donald Mustard tweeted literally just an hour or two ago. 
that gives me even more hope that we're going to get an event and even way past you know this season going into the next season and even the seasons after that gives me a lot of hope for possibly the best yet of any Fortnite storyline so let me just show you the tweet donald mustard said it's all connected pay attention the story is about to kick into overdrive i know that's only a few sentences but that gives us every single thing we'd ever need to know he's confirming that everything every single thing fortnite's done is all connected to the same overall storyline which confirms that chapter one and chapter two are indeed connected it confirms that every single battle pass scan every single season is in some way connected to the storyline it confirms a ton of stuff and then it even says the story is about to kick into overdrive how soon when does that mean there's an event upcoming was he specifically referencing the upcoming leaked marvel season mustard also said to pay attention is it possible there's stuff already in the game that we haven't paid attention to that is hinting towards whatever is going to happen and that makes me you know i don't know if i'm overthinking it or not but it makes me want to go walk around the entire map in replay mode and just look at everything and see if there's any sort of reference to what could be coming up potentially at the end of the season as far as any potential events might go or maybe he just means to pay attention in general to future updates because they are bound to be some of the most important additions to the storyline assuming everything has always and is connected so there you have it those are most of the leaks that we know right now about the upcoming season that came out today today was a popping day on twitter by the way you should go follow me over there because i do you know exclusive giveaways i actually have a twitter giveaway running right now and i would bet that it would probably still be running by the time this video is up so if you want to enter that go and check it out my twitter is always linked down below one more thing i want to point out though about donald mustard's twitter page i don't know if he did this today or a few days ago but he did recently change his location to be close to zero now he made a tweet a couple days ago saying that most characters are almost at zero we think zero means the zero point of course one of the main catalysts for getting us here to the new map really exciting stuff man and pretty much to me it seems like everything from chapter one and chapter two as previously confirmed by mustard himself are connected and we should see that link show back up in a big way very soon next up i want to share an update in regards to the legal battle going on between epic games and apple as far as trying to get fortnite back on the app store so in response to epic's lawsuit apple has now filed a lawsuit back at epic and they claim the following. They say that all the harm Epic Games is suffering is self-inflicted. Apple lacks monopoly power. Apple has not engaged in anti-competitive conduct. Apple has not denied Epic access to an essential facility. And they also say that on June 30th, Epic emailed Apple directly requesting to offer a competing Epic Games store, which would allow users to download their game directly from their app store and not Apple's. Apple obviously denied that request. And here's a crazy thing they said in that lawsuit. They said if Epic Games would just agree to Apple's policies again, they would let them back on the app store within a matter of days but epic seems determined to fight for this and to try and win this lawsuit so it seems like this whole thing could be over quick if apple and epic would just agree but neither of them are going to so it looks like this is going to be dragged out for quite a while i want to give a quick shout out to all of my channel members so i have eo no cap fed 2x go spy knickknack curs shep asianist amazing potato aim infinity brain pineapple rex lays the master of guitar hero gurgi 40 motor keon vivo Cameron jamming c sweets h2o chandler narves julia and awesome thank you guys all so much if you'd like to join the channel and get special perks and access to exclusive giveaways or potentially to even play with me for a video click the join button next to the subscribe button and become a channel member today if you decide to that would be much appreciated and everything i get from those funds goes right back into buying v bucks gifting to you guys, and so much more. I always give back. If there's anything I missed in today's video, or if you have a theory that you want me to cover in the next one, make sure to leave a comment down below, and if it's interesting and I like it, I could very well cover that in the next video. Super excited for August 27th. It should be a great time, and I'm also really excited and curious to see if we get an event, which I think we will. I'd stay hopeful, stay optimistic. I'm going to believe we're going to get one until I hear or see otherwise. 
Hope you guys all have a great rest of your day, and until next time, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.